Hello, I'm Gordon McKenzie. And in the next two pictures, I'd like to explore uh, the compositional aspect of some of the really simple patterns that we find around us in nature and in mathematics. In the first painting, I'm going to pick one that's really simple. We see this all the time. And it's simply a radial pattern. The problem with using this pattern is that we don't want to give the impression that we're painting a bicycle wheel. We want to only imply that the pattern is there. But it will lead the viewer's eye to the focal point in the picture. All right, we're at the stage now where we can start taking off some color, lifting color with one of these hog bristle brushes. So uh, a damp brush, not a wet one. It has to be drier than what the paper is. And so I can take off the suggestion of a shaft of light in here. And maybe a little piece of it from over here. The light is here. You don't have to make the lines go right to the center. Just bits and pieces of, of the light. I'd like to start with the horizontal line because with this one, I want to show you how you can create the illusion of uh, waves on water and make it look like waves on water. And so I'm going to start, well, I'll start here. And my first line, of course, is going to be very close to the, 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 the original. But as I come down, I'm going to vary the distance between the lines. Because the next stage is to suggest the waves in here just with color and work my way up into the uh, light area. I could do this wet on dry, but I've decided that uh, I've decided that I'll wet the paper first, and that way the marks that I put down will be softer. Again, using the same the same colors, the same ultramarine blue and yellow, a little bit of yellow in there, and the cad red light to create the colors I want in my, in my waves. Now, I want, to, uh, I want to have the painting dark in the foreground, so it's all right to start with some waves that are very dark up front. And I carry that up into the colors above. And so by following curved lines with our marks, we're able to suggest that there is a movement across the paper by the wind and uh, by the wind and the movement of the water.